Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on ClickSense. In today's tutorial, we are going to see how to create map object in the ClickSense tool. So let's create one project. Our project name is map app. Let's open it. Whenever it opens, it will ask us to load the data. But today we are not going to load data directly. Instead of that, let's go back and see what are the components we can see that. So we will just open the app. Let's edit if you want. Uh, we are okay. Let's go to the data editor okay so the thing i would like to show you is uh, how to add the data directly using the files and the file explorer so let's close this go to the left -hand corner and you will see the data manager data load editor and open hub option enable so we'll go to the data manager option in the data manager option you will see this screen where you can click uh, the add data option but today we are going we are not going to add the file directly so what we'll do we'll just go to the the folder structure where i uh, kept some data files so there is one file called as kms file kms file is a reference file which will have the uh, the country uh, suppose this is the world kms file which contains the country and its associated um, iso code so for example for india you can see the ind is iso code and its coordinates are defined so this is the kms file the other file which we are going to use to load the data is country cells in this country cells data we have the country name for example country ISO then we have United States so let's add the ISO code for the countries which do not have the ISO codes for example let me filter it right now we have USA and Australia country code let me add for India also okay we do not have India but let's add for the Germany for and for the Germany, let's say it's a GER. But before that, we have to verify whether GER present in the KMS file or not, or if any other code present over there. Accordingly, we have to update. So there is no Germany present. Let me search with. Uh, other code let's quickly add uh, or we'll just use Australia or let's see Canada will use and we'll uncheck the Germany and Canada should be CAN that is three digit code I'll just update for this all Canada record similarly you can update for the all other countries and by that way you will be able to fetch the all these corresponding countries data in the map so we are going to use the map map so the ClickSense already have the license to use that map template so we don't have to worry so we're just going to use that save it once it is saved so we are saving the csv format so that is the reason it was giving the of the option now we'll clear the filter now we have the data with usa canada and australia populated so if you filter it if you see there is australia canada and usa is there so that's good so let's first add the file in our tool that is nothing but KMS file that is the reference file we are going to add so in order to add the file you have to just drag and drop here so this is one of the way where you can see the how to load the data 
now here if you see if you do not want this world point column from this file so just unselect it we'll just ch change the name of this column and it should match the name of the column in our data file that is name is country iso code so that it will create the relationship by loading the data in our click sense tool we'll just click on the prepare data so we added that file let's let's add our a data file but before that make sure you have saved file yes file is saved let me close it i can will use the drag and drop option to load the data in the click sense tool so the data present inside the country cell and just drag and drop so it will show us all the columns so make sure we have that country as a column which is will be used to associate the columns and all other columns appropriately populated let's prepare the data and make sure the relationship should get created if not then you have the option here just select that it will create the relationship if you want to see the relationship column then you will see the country iso code is mapped with country iso code properly now click on the option data load so it will load the data in the project and we can easily use that data options so it is currently loading as the data volume is high it is taking time so you can see that it is taking around 14 seconds to load the data click on the edit sheet and from the left hand side in the chart section you will see various charts such as bar chart combo chart filter pane and one of the option is map so click on that and drag on your spreadsheet here are the dimension so dimension we are going to add is country iso code you can use any of this both are the same so you can see all these countries but now if you want to uh, if you want to identify different country with a different color you can make the color a legend and single color by dimension so you can see now the different countries are displayed with the different color and the the bottom or the legend is also shown which country is showing which part so if you see this is uh, for Canada or it's undefined oh it's undefined for this this blue is uh, so there are various dark shades and which means blue has the may not be this USA have the little below or uh, if you sort that by that way you can able to know or you can do the other option also like if you want to do by major major will not work because we do not have major contour major attribute which will define the major but the dimension which will help us to identify the different colors okay so one more interesting i would like to show you because our customer data is also related with this map right so what we'll do we'll add the one more chart that is nothing but the kpi and kpi will vary based on the country uh, but we'll add the sale if we have, or we have the revenue so we'll add the revenue so currently it is 3.77 okay and let's save it now if you select particular country because we added uh, USA code country to USA so for the CA if you select USA it is selecting 650.8 M if you add suppose Australia so let's add Australia the value will get increased now it is 760 let's add India even if you add the the value is not changing because what are the data which is present in our spreadsheet which do not have the Indian data so that is the reason the value is not changing then we have the Canada let's select that now if you add the camera the corresponding value also got changed let me add Russia so the value is not changing even if you select the Russia this is because the Russia is not maintained in the our data values so by this way you can use the word 
country data and the corresponding sales value or this revenue value i hope this tutorial is going to help you to add the map in your presentation which is very meaningful and it will give us a clear picture of the business overall the world so if you have any questions about how to add this uh, map to your project or if you want the any reference data file that is KMS, KMS file or any other uh, reference data or if you want any sample data to practice in your system then just let us know in the comment section of this video. Thank you for watching my video and have a nice time.